Children and parents, well done for finding this week's home learning video. It's called Beyond Counting. Now this week's video is going to show you some games that you can play for this week and next week. It's a home learning video for two weeks and it's called Beyond Counting. We want you to be able to calculate, so do a calculation like 7 add 5 without having to count in ones, without having to go start at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you're going to need two skills to be able to do that, knowing how many to get to 10 and being able to break numbers up. I'll show you what I mean. For 7 plus 5, we want you to be able to think, start from 7 and think, how many more to get to 10? Well, that's another three. And then if I'm adding five, I need to add how many more in total? Well, I've added three of my five. I need to add another two to get to 12. So parents, children, two skills you're going to need to learn and you're going to practice. One is how many more to make 10. And the other one is being able to split numbers like this five up into a three and a two. We're going to play some games that's going to rehearse those skills. The first game's a little bit like Snap, but a little bit different. I've called it Find 10. Hand out the playing cards that you had last week. So you've just split them equally. And I would have the playing cards from, from 1 to 9. The first player puts a playing card down on his pile. Then the next player puts a card down on a different pile. Now, if those two numbers add up to 10, you shout 10 and put your hand down like you're playing Snap. These two don't, they only make 9. So the first player is going to put down another card. He's put down a 6. That makes 10. So they shout, 10! Whoever gets the hand down first on both piles of cards wins those cards, and then the game continues. Can you win all the cards? Again, it's easy to adapt the difficulty of this game. You might start by playing the game only maybe up to 6, using the cards from 1 to 5. And when you make a 6, you'll, you'll shout 6 for a snap. It could be instead, you think, actually, I already know my bonds up to up to 10, and for single digit numbers, you might have a go for 8, or it maybe you even have a go for 12. Have a go of find 10. And the second game, I've called pairs to 10. Again, this one's a little bit like matching pairs, but again, rather than trying to find cards that have got the same number on, you're trying to find cards that make 10. So turn over two at a time. Let's say the first player turns over these two cards. They wouldn't get to keep them because they're not a pair to ten. So they'd turn them back over and then the game keeps going. The winner is the person who gets most pairs. Again, we want you to play this game but have a different target number each time. So it might be one time you're playing pairs to seven and children are learning how to break seven down into different ways. Or it could be, again, if you want an extra challenge, maybe one time you're having a go at pairs to 13. Again, it's fine if you're having a go at pairs to 5. But we want children to be able to know those bonds to 10 and being able to break up single digit numbers in different ways. So seeing 8 as 7 and 1 and 2 and 6 and 5 and 3 and 4 and 4 and them seeing and playing with all those different combinations. Perhaps play a couple of games this week, maybe a couple of slightly different games next week. Feel free to write in your home learning book how you've got on with those games. Again, you don't have to. It'll be great to talk to children about how they've done in class. And it's really going to help us as we learn to calculate. Thanks for watching.